Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Babaja, a.k.a. Shirin Chapachuli. Uh, I just want to make a quick video about this, uh, the Syrian issue. Okay, because uh, sometimes, you know, I don't just understand how we the Muslim are calling ourselves as a Muslim. You understand? There's a war in Syria today. Syrian government, Syrian president is killing his own people. And at the end of the day, there's a war in Syria. There are almost uh, five to six different Muslim countries next to Syria refused to help Syrian refugees. And those countries are all 95% Muslim. They refuse to help the Syrian people that you know today they are in need. God say in, in, God say in the Quran that the, uh, the right time to help somebody, uh, the right time to help somebody is the time the person is in need. And the Syrian people today are in need. Saudi Arabia, the world richest country, refused to help Syrian refugees. Saudi Arabia's king spent six million dollars in a casino. In Las Vegas, South, Saudi Arabian king was arrested last week in, uh, in, uh, in LA, sexual harassing a woman. Saudi Arabia is one of the world's richest country, but today Saudi Arabia is controlled by United States of America. We go where? We go to Qatar. Qatar calling yourself as a Muslim. Today, the Taliban, they have the office in Qatar today. Instead of Qatar, these people are filthy rich and they forget and they refuse to help the Muslims today that are in need. From there, I go to Dubai, very rich country. Dubai also refuse, refuse to help the people of Syria today. And Dubai is 95% Muslim. From there, we go to Kuwait, very rich. But all of them refuse. Today, who are helping the Syrian refugees? Today, Christian countries like the people, like Germany. Germany is 99% Christian. Those are the people who open their doors to help my fellow Muslims, to tell them, come here. We will help you no matter what. Where are the Muslims? I am a Muslim. Sometimes I used to feel ashamed of myself, calling myself as a Muslim because of Saudi Arabia and others. You call yourself as a Muslim, your Muslim brother in need? You refuse to help that person? Saudi Arabia today is bombing, um, uh, is, uh, bombing Yemen, killing thousands of Muslims. For what reason? It's so same. And uh, I want to take this opportunity and thank the government of Germany and tell them thank you very much for saving my fellow Muslim. I want to take this opportunity and thank the people of Australia for helping saving my fellow Muslims. And I want to take this opportunity and thank the European Union, especially in Germany, of helping Muslims. But this is... Uh, and I want to take this opportunity and say same on the Gulf countries. Thank you, Germany. Thank you, Germany. God bless Germany. And God bless the Pope. The Pope. The Pope is not a Muslim, but the Pope says, the, the Pope called on all Christians to come and help Syrian refugees. Did Saudi Arabia say anything? You see, the day of judgment, you will see a Saudi Arabian billionaire with long beards. He's having money. He refused to help people who are in need. He will die and go straight to hellfire. You will see a Christian passing. Who is a Christian? Who opened his heart to help others? Will die. God will take him straight to Arjana. Straight to Jana. He will go straight to heaven. If you think calling yourself as a Muslim, you refuse to help other people. That is going to... Thank you, Germany. And I want to take this opportunity and thank all Christians that are helping my, my Muslim brothers and sisters today who are in need. God bless you all.